Tortillas are being made as usual, but the crowd is thinner these days at the Four Winds restaurant in Cuernavaca. President Felipe Calderón's five-year war against drug cartels is hurting this upscale city, a weekend hangout for Mexico City's elite. People have weekend houses, but if they don't come, and if they don't go out to eat or drink, everything's going to get worse. Cuernavaca is far from the bloodiest battles of the drug war, but the economic and emotional toll it's had on this town is emblematic of the impact it's had on the whole nation. Calderón can claim some success. In December 2009, Mexican Marines killed the so-called boss of bosses, drug lord Arturo Beltran Leva, after a two-hour shootout here in Cuernavaca. Police have arrested many other crime bosses since then. But Mexico has paid a high price, 50,000 dead and counting. Here in Cuernavaca's main square, you see the clearest illustration of the human cost of five years of Mexico's drug violence. We have altars to many people, among them Maricela Escobedo. She was killed. That murder was caught on tape. All she was doing at the time was protesting for investigators to look into the murder of her own daughter. And then behind that, you have an altar to 24-year-old Juan Francisco Cecilia. He was murdered in March of this year, and that murder sparked a national movement against the drug war. His father, Javier Sicilia, led a series of marches across the country. Protesters demanded that the president call an end to the military offensive. But Calderón stayed the course, despite rising pressure at home and abroad and accusations of human rights abuses. We're fighting for you, be sure. As long as it takes, we will win. We're stronger and have more resources than our enemy. With just a year left in his term, Many forget Calderón said he would be the so-called jobs president. The economy has grown at an annual average of less than 1.5 percent, and some see his primary policy as hurting their chances of work. In Cuernavaca, the mariachi bands are out looking for work, as they have been for decades. But times are tough for troubadours like Anaí Romero. For the situation of crime, people are afraid to come here to hire us in Cuernavaca. Romero sings a lament that expresses all she asks for. The right to live. A sentiment she surely shares with her fellow citizens, who hope that the years to come will be more secure and more prosperous. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Cuernavaca, Mexico.